to my channel Button and Pip. I'm Adele and my channel is all about my dressmaking journey. So if that's something that you enjoy, please subscribe to my channel and have a look back at my previous vlogs. Now, today I'm going to talk about my very first make of 2020, which is this dress. And it's now it's from a pattern company that contacted me at the end of 2019 and asked me if I'd like to try out one of their patterns. And they gifted me this pattern very kindly for free. So I'm going to do a bit of review about the pattern and have a little bit of chat about the new pattern company so this is the pattern company it's called the pattern breacher which is a company it's very close to me actually in Leicester and they launched at the end of 2011 uh, no not 2011 they launched at the end of 2019 with six patterns and they're all sort of relatively beginner friendly so the very first one is the Eloise which is an adventurous beginner pattern which is a jacket then we've got the Gabby which is an off-the-shoulder dress the Grace which is a pinafore dress Isabella a loose fitting dress uh, perfect for the summer actually the Sienna which is some wide leg trousers and then this one which is the Olivia dress now I was really ex excited actually to try out a new pattern company because at the end of, well not even at the end, in 2019 I really tried to push myself out of my comfort zone because before then I'd played safe with pattern companies and well I say play safe but I knew how certain pattern companies set out their patterns, I was confident with the sizing, so I was kind of in my comfort zone there. So I really wanted to try and push myself to try new pattern companies, which in 2019 I did with great success. And I want to continue that, and I love trying out new pattern companies that are a little bit less well known to, to try out uh, a new shape, a new style of pattern, and also a new style of dress. So so this is the Olivia dress. I'll pop some videos up actually of me front and back twirling and all that so you can have a really good look of it. But it's an absolutely lovely dress. So they call it an adventurous beginner dress and they describe it actually as a, t a fun tea party dress which I think if you actually use more of a thicker material, you could get away with wearing it as an evening dress as well. I originally chose some different fabric to actually make this dress out of, and it said it needed two meters 15 for a size 10, which my me measurements fitted up with. But when I got my fabric out, um, I thought I might be able to squeeze it out two meters, but no, you need that 215 because, well, the other fabric choice was very narrow, so you really did need that extra bit. And I was really gutted. So I looked through my stash and found this fabric, which was from the Birmingham Rag Market. So it's a bit of a bargain. And it, it's great actually for this style of dress because it's really floaty. It's a little bit see-through. Well, I wouldn't say see-through, but it's a little bit sheerer. So I've had to wear it with a slip, which doesn't bother me because I quite often wear a lot of my dresses with slips so that they don't stick to my tights. So it's been perfect for that. And it's it surprised me because there's two features on here that I've never tried before. So let me run through this dress and show you. So there's a bodice, which is quite loose fitting. It's got some darts at the back. There, but there's no actual shaping in the bodice it also the shape actually all comes from this panel here which is a sheared sheared or shearing panel anyway I'm gonna call it my pudding panel because <laughs> it's stretchy and it allows me to eat more puddings so yeah it's the first time I've ever actually tried shearing which I was a little bit nervous about because I've never well, I was a little bit worried that as it went through the machine the first time, then trying to control it to keep it straight uh, to do the other lines would be difficult. And I, I, I tell the truth now, these shearing lines are not perfectly straight, not perfectly equal distance apart. So, but you can't tell because it is all bunched up, so you really can't tell. So yeah, it's got this hooding panel, and then it has this beautiful wide, floaty skirt i think you'd call it maybe a half circle skirt i know it's not a full circle skirt so yeah but it's it gives an absolutely lovely shape and it fi finishes just on my knee so it's got a really sort of sophisticated feel about this dress and perfect sleeves i good love a good floaty sleeve so yeah that's one thing actually that my husband said as soon as he saw this dress he went oh i really like the sleeves so yeah i really like that now let me talk about the pattern 
So it comes, I don't know whether they've got PDF, but the pattern company comes with this nice thick paper, which I actually like. I prefer the thick paper more than the tissue paper. And I have cut the pattern out. Now, I'll tell you one thing if you are gonna make this pattern up. The bodice is actually labelled incorrectly, the bodice piece. So the bodice piece should be labelled as A, but it's actually labelled as C. And I had a bit of a panic because I cut out my pattern one night, threw away all the scrap pieces, and then two nights later, I lay it out onto my fabric and I couldn't find pattern piece A. And I was like, oh. I was absolutely worried but then I looked at the names of the pattern pieces and I found that pattern piece A was actually C so the front bodice piece here was actually labelled as C so just be aware of that if you're actually um, making this pattern up but apart from that cutting it out was absolutely fine and the booklet here it talks about being an adventurous beginner and I think it's it's pitched at a right level because it's a beginner there is loads of information at the start of the booklet about lots of terms how to fuse how to french seam um loads of well there's a big glossary there of lots of sewing terms then it's got your um cutting out no there's your cutting out layout size chart it's got a line drawing of the finished dress and then the instructions begin which are in company accompanied by lots of photos now i do prefer an illustration to a photo but the actual description is really detailed so i was able to do fine when actually passing through this now one thing when it talks about the skirt it actually talks about french seams now i'm a little bit of a lazy sewist i can't be bothered with french seams and i know it will actually help sort of the length the life long well allow the dress to actually be washed and allow it to continue on but i use my overlocker an awful lot and i'm confident with my overlocker that i didn't french seam so hopefully it will stick together but yeah all of the instructions were absolutely fine. It talks about darts, gives some tips actually about darts and inserting a zip. So yes, it has a zip at the back, which I love. I don't like buttons, as you know, if you've watched my vlogs before, a zip I am totally confident with putting in and my pudding panel gives the shape. So yeah, it makes it super comfortable to wear. But yeah, I'm really surprised by this pattern because like I said, new technique, shearing, but also a new style on me. I don't normally do a V-neck. So I was a little bit nervous about the V-neck um, style, but as soon as I put it on, I loved it. And it's been sitting on my dress mannequin because the pattern actually talks about hemming the skirt straight away. But with it being cut on a, a slight bias, I've learned from my mistakes in the past that I didn't hem it straight away. I actually let it sit on my mannequin for I think three days before I leveled off the hem. And I'm really pleased that I did that because I actually had to cut quite a bit off. It did stretch out a little bit. If you don't have a dress mannequin, if you just let it hang actually on a hanger, that will suffice, that'll be enough. But please, I, I tell you from experience, don't just hem it straight away. I did that on one of my um, my, one of my very first penny dresses and the hem is all skew with and I've tried to cut it then and then I've mucked it up. So just don't do that. Just let it hang. Be patient. Be a good girl and let it hang and just wait. Just be patient. But yeah, I love this dress. I love the colour. So the fabric, I think it, the fabric choice it's going to allow me to wear it for the winter with my tights but i think i could probably get away with this in the springtime i'm not sure whether the color would suit a summer wardrobe well you never know you can kind of get away with anything can't you because of the floaty nature i think i could get away with it being like an evening dress in the summertime but yeah my first make of 2020 well not my first make i've actually been really good and i've made two things already for two things for other people and i've got more plans as well so more for my family i spoke about that in my 2020 plans video that i want to make more for others but my first mate for myself has been a massive success i'm really really pleased with this and yeah as you agree can't diss the pattern it's going to allow me to eat more pudding can i <laughs> 
But yeah, thank you ever so much to the Pattern Preachers for gifting me this pattern to allow me to try out a new pattern that maybe I might not have actually found on my own. But yeah, go and have a look at their website. Um, like I said before, I don't know if they do PDFs, but they've got all their patterns on there and have a look and on their Instagram page. But yeah, thank you ever so much and thank you also for watching. If you've enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up and have a little chat below. I love chatting away to people. Um, I've connected with loads of people actually across the world, so it's been nice to have a chat. And thank you ever so much for watching. I'm gonna do a little bit of a shout out now. She might go a bit crazy when I go back to work. Hello, Shelley. <laughs> right, thank you ever so much for watching and see you again soon. Bye-bye.